The speculation over who will become Myanmar's new president has come close to an end. Tin Cho, a veteran member of Aung San Suu Kyi's party and her confidant, was nominated Thursday as the country's official head in a new and untested government. The 69-year-old studied economics at Oxford. He is also a writer and the son of a famed national poet. Mr. Tin Cho is expected to carry out Ms. Suu Kyi's wishes faithfully and serve as her proxy as head of state. Ms. Suu Kyi led her party to a landslide win in the country's historic elections last November, but the Nobel Peace Laureate is barred from holding the presidency by the Constitution, which says that no one with close foreign relatives can be president. Her two sons and late husband are British. Ms. Suu Kyi has already stated that she will control from behind the scenes. The public, you know, voted for the change. So now the public, you know, want a civilian, pure civilian president. So when the civilian president comes into power, I think the public will support him. Uh, and then public even may not care for, you know, whether he is a proud president or not. The new president will be the country's first democratically chosen head of state since the military seized power in 1962. The army, which is guaranteed a quarter of the seats in the legislature, will nominate its own candidates in coming days. Another member from Ms. Suu Kyi's party, the National League for Democracy, was nominated as vice president. Mr. Tin Cho is widely expected to emerge as president when the full parliament meets next week to vote among the nominees for a head of state.